Uh, all right, let's get started uh, on uh, a, a, something that is afflicting your boy. Another aspect of this storm with the rain now gone, there's a big left mess left behind. And one of those biggest problems, Marla, is potholes. Right, and Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez, she's in Pomona, where potholes claim more than two dozen vehicles this morning. Oh my goodness, those are some unhappy owners, Christina. Oh yeah, I can tell you though. We hope government just closed bids for the contract on that specific road repair. Oh, thank God, man. That the afternoon drive is a little bit better in this area. They've actually managed to patch some of them up. But if you're driving on the freeway or the streets, you know it's an obstacle course out there. Watch. You can't really see it. And bam. That sums up the average driver hitting potholes right now. Over 30 vehicles disabled on the 71 at the Holt exit near Pomona. There Wait, what? There's that had two flats. They needed to be towed because you know, only most cars come with spares or the newest car. Wait a minute. What the fuck does that mean? Cars don't even come with a spare, so it's a tow automatically. Caltrans fixing those 71 freeway potholes before afternoon rush hour, saying they're working nonstop with these rains. This is just... Ain't no way Kelly gets rain one time in the history of man and y'all are bitching about potholes. We get 24-7. Dude, it's the same as fucking Texas. It's because all infrastructure is dog, right? All infrastructure in America, especially, is dog water across the motherfucking board, right? Uh, we'll get to this breaking news in a second, but um, which is fucking crazy. But uh, let me let me just explain something to you. All infrastructure is like pretty fucking bad across the board in America for the exact same reasons. It's the same in like most other, uh, you know, ca Canada too. But the thing about LA that's like extra bad is that it doesn't. It, it's not built to even withstand a little bit of rain. So it's, it's like literally, yeah, it's like cotton candy. Except for when, you know, it's cotton candy when it's fucking wet. But then when it hardens, it's not like cotton candy. It's just still concrete. Just a historic amount of rainfall and snowfall from an amazing series of big storms. Caltrans officials do say they filled about 600 potholes in less than a week, just in LA and Ventura counties. In LA City, Public Works has received over 1,100 requests for pothole service in six days, filling in 300 of the ones reported by drivers. And the expense gonna be on me. Not necessarily, we're told. Both Caltrans and the city of L.A. have procedures to file claims for damage, although results seem to be Look at that! My Look at that! completely dipped into the potholes. Look at how big that shit is. Listen, these are like real-ass people, bro. These are the people that get actually fucked over by this shit. They don't got fucking Porsche roadside assistance and shit. They have jobs to go to. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, they're fucked. And back when it happened to me, when I also had a fucking regular ass job and no goddamn money to fucking fix this shit immediately, like it was, it was absolutely the worst possible thing that could happen to you. And it's like one of those things where the government is supposed to never let this shit happen. You could say it's like bad drivers all day, every day, but, uh, the incident that I had today, like either I was going to do a fucking actual collision or eat the damage thinking that maybe I could fucking withstand it. You know? It sucks. So this was a sinkhole, basically. Like <laughs> yeah, he's right. All over the like, that's a baby one. These are... These are, some of these are baby now, ones. He happens to be a key figure in the L.A. Central Area Neighborhood Council. I filled a uh, damaged uh, city damage claim report form out um, and submitted it to the city city clerk of the city of Los Angeles. They denied the claim. Yes, they denied the claim totally. What did they tell you? Um, the reason in the letter was that the city did not have prior knowledge of the pothole. In other words, no one had reported it, which is a regularly used reason to deny pothole damage claims. So it is important for people to report them. I think it's very important um, that, that people take advocacy and ownership of their community. 
things. Um, and part of that is being that squeaky wheel that's going to. Remember, you're not allowed to talk about this stuff. Even though LA has experienced once per decade flooding, everyone from the East Coast here to tell you that their potholes are worse. It's like saying city has the craziest unpredictable weather. Yeah, bro. It's like, like this is the same shit as Texas. You know what I mean? Their fucking grid got destroyed by like a little bit of fucking snow and and weather that like you would just kind of think is shitty in the east coast but it's because like one it's completely outside of their fucking it, it's completely outside of the control of like the average citizens experiencing this shit and two it's directly in the hands of the dumbass fucking city officials and the dumbass pieces of shit in local and state government that literally did nothing because they were too busy fucking denying the reality of the climate change and go and to the council office, to the mayor's office, to the legislature, and say, hey, look, we're paying our taxes, we're doing our part, and we expected the city, the county, the state, the federal government to do their portion. You know, I, I would love to hear from people who actually had a good experience and got money back, because so far I've only heard from people who have not. At the same time, we have put on our website in Fox LA the links to report and for claims. Let me know how it goes. I'm Christina Gonzalez live in Pomona. Back to you guys in the studio. Anyway, 